When you're shopping for a new car, safety should be your top priority. You can always look at the safety features of the vehicle you're about to buy, but the safety ratings make the process of decision-making quicker. And it seems one company is leading in safety ratings around the globe. We're talking, of course, about Tesla. Tesla has consistently received five-star ratings from companies that conduct crash tests. But how does it work so efficiently every time? That's what we're going to find out today. Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. Tesla has been acing every test put forward by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration for years, and their most recent test was in January 2021. The Tesla Model Y cleared it with flying colors and received a five-star rating. But what goes into determining a car's level of safety? How is it measured? Before we dive into the specifics of what makes Tesla Tesla's so safe, let's look at some essential safety features we need to keep in mind when buying a car. Airbags, brakes, electronic stability control, adaptive headlights, and traction control. When insurance companies and road safety regulators test cars, they typically have six main categories they test. Three of them include three different kinds of front-end impacts, whiplash, side impacts, and roof strength in case the car topples over. The aim is to ensure the car protects adults and children. See how it treats vulnerable road users like pedestrians and check the safety assists. And as Tesla fans already know, Tesla vehicles are just about the safest on the planet. The Model 3 has the lowest probability of injury in a collision of any of the 900-plus vehicles tested by the NHTSA. Sounds incredible, doesn't it? How does a company as young as Tesla build more efficient and safer cars than what legacy car makers have been building for decades? Tesla's underlying architecture and design goes a long way in making the car rigid and safe. The car has no engine, just a battery since it's an electric car. All that steel and aluminum in the front absorbs a majority of the impact, so it doesn't transfer to the passengers sitting inside. And because it's an electric car, there's no gas tank either. So, Teslas have larger front and back crumple zones than any other vehicle with an engine in the front and a gas tank in the rear. Elon Musk emphasizes the crumple zones. He points out that this even makes it safer for the car's Tesla hits. The combined crumple zone of both both cars is much longer than if two regular cars collided. Technically, it's safer for pedestrians too, because they would simply bounce off the hood instead of slamming on an engine block. The location of the battery also gives the car a low center of gravity, which improves handling and reduces the chance of a rollover. The Model Y, for example, houses the heavy battery pack and electric motor in the bottom of the car. It weighs just over a thousand pounds. This makes it the heaviest part of the car. The motors sit between the wheels giving an additional 200 pounds between the hubs. Plus, you have the weight of the tires. For that reason, the NHTSA determined the risk of rollover at just 6%. The only car lower than that is the Tesla Model S with a 5.7% chance. Speaking of the battery, Tesla has made it their top priority. When a battery malfunctions, the overheating of one cell can quickly transfer to the others, and it's called thermal runway. But this doesn't happen in Teslas. The connections between cells are designed to melt at a much lower temperature than usual, so the circuit essentially breaks and keeps the other cells safe. The cells are also separated by cooling veins, and each cell has emergency vents that allow hot gases to escape before they can build up enough pressure to cause an explosion. But even with the heavy battery, if the car still manages to roll over, Tesla cars have a strong roof that protects the occupants. Most legacy cars use the thinnest and least rigid bit of sheet metal for the roof, and in a rollover accident, you risk risk serious injury. But Tesla cars have glass roofs, which one might argue is less safe than metal, but you'd be surprised. The roof panels are essentially like windshields, two layers of hardened glass laminated with thermoplastic. The Model 3, in particular, has been able to withstand 20,000 pounds of force on its roof, which is six times its own weight. In a crash test, the glass panels break in a predictable way, but the plastic holds the pieces together so they don't rain down like jagged shards and hurt the passengers. The sides are usually the weakest point of a car since there is nothing to absorb the impact of a crash, but they have a solution for that too. Teslas are reinforced with ultra-high-grade steel, and in the event of a side collision, a thick curtain airbag pops out for an added safety measure. 
These measures are referred to as passive safety measures. It focuses on things like airbags, seats, and the structure of the car. These elements in Tesla contribute to their high safety rating too. The Model 3 has a thick curtain airbag and a uniquely shaped front passenger airbag that help protect the passenger's head from the car's pillar and center screen. And while passive safety covers what happens in an accident, active safety refers to the systems that help a car avoid a collision in the first place. Which brings us to stability control. It is, unsurprisingly, one of the best on the road. Weight sensors in the seats warn the driver when the belts aren't safely buckled in and determines how powerfully the airbags should be deployed in the event of a collision. But in addition to keeping you safe in an accident, it also has features that prevent accidents from happening in the first place. The lane departure avoidance feature, for example, detects when the car is drifting into another lane and steers itself back. In this emergency lane keeping test, you can see how the vehicle crosses over the white line towards an oncoming vehicle and is pulled back into the lane automatic. The automatic emergency braking system recognizes obstacles on the roads and stops by itself. They even improved their AEB system for all Model S, X, and 3 vehicles built since October 2016, and they did it using an over-the-air software update. Tesla's engineers actually monitor the data collected from the sensor suites of cars to understand driver behavior, and they make their upgrades accordingly. This constant monitoring gives you a better driving experience and keeps you safer. The newer models also have a feature called Red Light Recognition. The auto braking feature is by no means brand new. Volvo came up with it over a decade ago, but Tesla, of course, perfected it with their combination of cameras, radar, and ultrasonic sensors. Autonomous cars are the next big thing for Tesla, and in fact, for many other legacy car makers. None of them have perfected it yet, but select customers have have gotten the opportunity to beta test autonomous vehicles for Tesla. It seems they work by themselves in both cities and highways with ease. As great as that sounds, drivers still have to pay attention and be ready to step in at any time. Right now, we're still navigating conditional automation with the cruise control feature just one level below full self-driving. So if their cars are so safe, and of course better for the environment, why aren't they more popular? Well, the cheapest Model 3 is still twice the cost of the least expensive sedan. They also take a very long time to charge since their batteries are larger than what you'll find in any other car. If you like taking long drives or like backpacking, maybe Teslas aren't for you. But the benefits definitely outweigh the costs. It's a fantastic long-term investment in the environment and your safety. Do you think you'll buy a Tesla anytime soon? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and check out more videos over on the Simply Tech channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.